um, is a big thing for the more competitive um, players. And it's linebacker, usering, movement, uh, lurking, all this stuff. And I get that being able to use that middle linebacker gives you an advantage. It's something that should be a part of the game. It is just simply too much. The ability for a linebacker to be getting blocked, literally if you bite a on a play action and say you have your slot receiver running a crossing route uh, or an over route coming over the top of the linebackers, the ability of a linebacker to be going from getting blocked after biting on a play action to covering 10 yards of depth and uh, in the snap of a finger, be able to react to a bullet throw over his head to a receiver 10 yards behind him for him to jump up and intercept the ball is mind numbing. It, show me a play in real life where that has ever happened. And you will see this very consistently in Madden. And, and it's ridiculous. Uh, basically what I'm asking for here is uh, the ability of a linebacker to flip his hips and get back after coming forward is going to change this ridiculously. And then you talk about the passing arcs and uh, re really just the ability of a linebacker to intercept a ball on a receiver that is has broken the depth of, of that linebacker's drop on, say, a post or a deep in. Um, you know, it's, it's a pretty simple concept to try and draw that linebacker down. It's called, you know, levels concept to try and draw him down on a – a short hitch or a crossing route to open up that deep end uh, to, you know, a dig or whatever. There's a lot of different names for that type of, of uh, scheming, but it's, it's something that you have to completely avoid if you're playing a user because the linebacker can take away the entire inside the numbers of the field very easily. And it's, it's just ridiculous. And it's, it's time to make some changes there for sure. Not, not only that, I, two points to that. Num number one, before the Bears game, they had a, a really cool moment. I mean, I mean, just being a football fan and, and seeing Brian Urlacher and Dick Butkus walk out together. I was like, man, th those are two of the greatest linebackers of all time. Like, sure, they happen to play on the same team. But it's, it's funny, I instantly try to connect that back to, to video game football. Because to be fair, you know, that we all love football. That's why we're playing the game. I thought to myself, you know, I can't remember linebackers like that in Madden where I was like, you know, I can't run up the middle because I've got Urlacher to deal with. And, and I don't want those type of problems. And it's ironic because at the same time, whether I have T.Y. Hilton crossing or whether I have Michael Thomas crossing, that linebacker and the ability that they have to move, I, I'm, I'm with you. I, I'm not saying there's not user skill there, but I will say that there is much less user skill as much as there is just a visual disruption. You're, you're not really doing anything skill-wise, right? You're just distracting me and drawing my eye to what you're doing because you're so unconventionally running around the field, you would never have in real life a linebacker just making figure eights in the middle of the field. And naturally, I think if we if we just follow human progression, right? Like your eyes are drawn to that movement. And then you're more prone to throw around that movement because that's where you're looking. And then naturally, when this player gets this catch animation and they act like they've done the most skilled thing you could by lurking, it literally boggles my mind. And I refuse to I, listen. I'm not like I said, I'm not going to say there's not talent involved. I refuse to even practice playing the game that way because it is absolutely absurd. And I would have thought that it's something that would have been removed from the game 10 years ago. So why would I invest time trying to get good at something that defies the concepts of actual football? If it, at the NFL Combine, when they're doing those backward shuttles, if, if a top five prospect NFL corner could flip his hips and cover the amount of ground that a linebacker in Madden can cover, they would be the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. Because not even NFL corners can flip around 
get their head around on a ball moving 55 miles an hour, pinpoint the ball and jump 45, 50 inches in the air and intercept the ball. It, it, it happens every time you try to throw over the middle. It's to it's that ridiculous. point. To that point, could you imagine, since you brought up the combine, could you imagine if one year they were like, listen, we're not worried about your shuttle. We're not worried about your 40. What we've done is we've got cones that are 10, 15 yards apart in a square. And we just need to see how fast you can move around the square. We're going to have old Joe Bob throw some passes near this square. And we just need to see how fast you can run around and interact with them. If that's really how football was played, that would be, I don't know, what would, what would you call that drill? The, 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 the ball box movement drill, like the, the BBM, it would be like the most important drill ever. Like you could be like, Oh, what was this one? who cares? What, what was this? Drill. What was this? Yeah. What was this eight cone drill time? Like how many yep. pass deflections did he have in the eight cone? What was this? What was this eight cone shuttle Q time? 